Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I want to bring some thoughts about uh, God wants a living sacrifice. Uh, in the Old Testament, of course, we know that it was a slain or, you know, sacrificed of a slain animal. This is quite different when it's our, us he's speaking of now. So our text being uh, very familiar to all of you, I'm sure, Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Presenting meaning bringing before the Lord as a gift, and we're talking about our bodies, as members of instruments, your members are instruments of righteousness yeah. to God. Uh, Romans 6.13 talks about that. For you are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. This is from 1 Corinthians 6.20. So notice that God tells us to do this. He doesn't just suggest or say this might be a, a good thing you could do mm -hmm. as a choice, but this is you know something God tells us to do. Uh, now, what kind of a sacrifice is it to be? To be. It's a living one and uh, also a holy one. He talks about uh, our body to become, a, how can our body become a sacrifice? I had thought of some things like using our tongue for only pure and holy words and for praising and blessing the God of heaven. Uh, let the eye look on no evil, and that is a sacrifice to him. Our hands aiding others and doing the Lord's work. With our ears listening only to God filtering out all the other voices that speak to us. But I just couldn't say it as well as this hymn does by Francis Havergal that we've sang many times, Take My Life and Let It Be. So I want to read those words that she penned. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing, always only for my king. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages for thee. Take my silver and my gold, not a mite would I withhold. Mm -hmm. Take my love, my God, I pour at thy feet its treasure store. Take myself and I will be ever only all for thee. It's the reason why she was a songwriter. This is a beautiful way to, uh, to encapsulate what a life would be like given to God as a sacrifice to him. But the only way that we can accomplish this, uh, the scripture goes on to say there in Romans, is that God transforms our minds. And the only way we can do this is to leave the world behind and let him take over our minds and control it. Now, we are all part of one body in Christ, having many different gifts. So whether it's teaching, exhorting, leading, showing mercy, giving, whatever gift, according to the grace God has given you, and this is what it talks about in Romans 12, 6. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that he has given to us, let us use them like if prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. I want to call our attention to that little phrase, let us use them. That's, that's the key. Huh? A lot of people have these gifts. I mean, probably everyone has gifts, rather, I should, should say that way. But it's evident to all, some that we, they aren't using them for the Lord. You know, they're using them for themselves, for uh, personal gain or for selfish reasons or just in the world, you know, for the world's uh, approval, whatever. And so it's important to, uh, to see here that another place that God tells us to use our gifts is this, he's telling us to do with our lives. He's not asking, uh, you know, or saying this isn't, would be a nice thing or this, we have a choice. It's, this is what God tells us to do. In proportion to our faith, meaning within your capacity of understanding and ability. Now that's helped me too, because you know, a lot of times we think of people, uh, somebody else can speak better than I can. Somebody else can sing better than I can, you know. These two both can play the piano when, I, when they're gone. <laughs> I have to put up with me. Things like that. And we really shouldn't worry about those things. We use the ability that God gave us because he wants a willing uh, gift to him. And that's what we can do to give back to him by using what he has given us in our measure. Uh, but he does, again, expect us to use it. Just like the parable of the talents, you know, we know his reaction to the one who had the one that didn't do anything with it because he buried it and it didn't amount, to, didn't profit him in any way, shape or form. So that's real clear through that parable. Uh, I, wa I just want to encourage you then today to be a living sacrifice by using uh, your gifts and bringing and your body to bring honor to God. We are vessels created for his service, our reasonable service. And remember, we don't just serve a king. We serve the king of kings. Amen. So. Amen.